Hey guys, and uh, welcome to uh, another tutorial. In this tutorial, it's gonna, it's gonna be a quick one. I'm just gonna show you how to make, uh, how to do respawns. So first thing you wanna do is make a description.ext file, which is we go to Notepad. Okay, and then just file save as, save it to desktop or wherever you want. Save it to a place you're gonna know where it is then put description dot ext and save alright so now we have description dot ext file except if you watch my previous tutorial you should already have one in your uh, test mission or your mission folder so we already have one so I'll just delete the new one we created okay so next thing you want to do in the description dot ext I just like to divide my things by placing a bunch of lines like this. Or... Okay. And uh, so adding respawns is really easy. All you have to do now is put in these these codes. Okay, first we put respawn equals. Okay, and right after respawn equals, we put a type. So for in this case, we're going to put uh, a base because we want them to spawn back at at the main base. Base is can also be referred to as um, three, I believe, yeah. So instead of putting base, you could just put three and it'll do the same thing. But I like to put base because then you actually know when you open up the file. And then we'll put a semicolon. Here you have to put semicolons. Okay, and then we'll press enter, make another line, and we'll put respawn delay equals and then now in seconds we're gonna put a uh, a delay so how long it'll take to respawn if you want to make your mission somewhat more realistic uh, I, I usually put it to about two minutes or something if you want full realism you don't add a respawn but uh, so we'll, for now since it's just testing purposes we'll just put 10 seconds okay and uh, that's it for the description.ext. Actually, um, let me see here. Yep, that's it. That's it for the description.ext. So we'll just save. Okay. And uh, now we're going to go ahead into the editor and uh, there's only one more thing we have to do for the respawn to start working. I'll see you in the editor. Alright, uh, hey guys, so we're back in the uh, tutorial. I mean, we're back in the editor, sorry. Um, <coughs> so this is just a test of the respawn. Um, so there's only one thing we have to do in the editor to make the respawn work. Turn on the textures to make things more accurate. Um, so let's say we want to respawn mm. just so you guys kinda okay I'll make it respawn over here okay so further down the airfield so what you're supposed to do is press F6 uh, and bring up your bring up your markers double click and um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the marker default and empty so that people don't see it and what we're gonna do is name it respawn underscore west basically all that does is uh, tell the description.ext this is where they're to respawn USMC units only uh, so blue 4 units if it was for example uh, op 4 units you would put respawn underscore east Right then, all op for units would respawn there. Um, for independence, it would be gorilla. I th yeah. And for civilians, it's just civilian. But in this case, we're USMC, we're, so we're gonna put west. And then we're not gonna put any text because I want the marker to be invisible. 
So, once we die, uh, we should respawn on uh, right here, and in 10 seconds. So, let's test it out. Let's preview. Ooh, what's this? Oh, continue, never mind. Actually, uh, I think it should work. Ah, uh, easiest way. So in 10 seconds, we should respawn on that marker. And there you go. Remember, the marker we place is up here. And we have respawned here in 10 seconds. 10 seconds that was the uh, the time we put in the description.ext. So, everything is working. And that's how we... Uh, make a response for units for vehicles I might make another tutorial later and uh, see you later guys